Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, I've got some good news. All the 2024 stuff I've ordered, with just a couple of exceptions, has come in and I've taken possession of it. And so what I wanted to do is kind of give each and every one of you an in-depth look at some of these buildings and some of these accessories. And that way, if you haven't made a, de a, a decision on whether you're gonna get it or you're not gonna get it, maybe this, these videos will help you to decide that you absolutely want it in your collection or you're gonna pass on it this year. So with that, we're gonna jump in and start taking a look at these. These will be individual videos like always, but we're gonna jump in and start taking a look at them. So with that, let's jump off the tripod and take a look at the first one. Okay, so the first piece we're gonna take a look at is the fall piece for this year, and this is called Make and Take Scarecrow Shack. Okay, so the box this year has been redesigned. I like it. And then I don't like it. Let me explain why I say that. I like it because it's a very cool box. They've got, uh, obviously you can see the title. I like the colors. It's, it shows that it's hand painted. Similar to last year, you come down here and look, you see it's a ceramic building and so on and so forth. And then they tell a little bit of a story on the back. Uh, kind of they give you some different views and then the coordinating accessory if you're going to buy this this year retail You can see the price here is $170. That's the suggested retail price What I do like about the box and let me try to do this one-handed Here's what I don't like about the box. It's look how flimsy that is. It's incredibly flimsy it's uh, it's um, I mean, I know it's a box and it's designed to protect, but it's a little bit flimsy. Here's what I do like though. Every box has got a little bit of something inside the flap that kind of goes down into the, the big box. Being a scarecrow is something in their jeans. God, I get it, I see it. So I like that, uh, but then they've got the flaps. And again, you can kind of see in the back just how these are very flimsy boxes. So. That I don't care for. I love the concept and the idea of how to open these boxes, and I like that, but uh, I wish they were a little more sturdy. However, we're not buying it for the box, we're buying it for the product. So let's take a look at that. Now, you'll see some trees in the back. I will review those trees in an upcoming video, but this is the new fall set of trees that I've got. And I'm, just gonna, I'm probably gonna put them in most of the videos because they. They're pretty cool looking, but uh, let's take a look at this make and take Scarecrow Shack. And then the, the accessory, which we'll look at in detail is, uh, in just a few minutes, is called Nana I'm Stuffed. And the box is exactly the same on this one. It's got a little, you know, the same little flap in the back. And again, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Um, and if you pull this up, just a little bit more, maybe I can get it. Maybe I can just get it enough to see it. It says, basically it says, hey there, as in hey, uh, as in they're stuffing the scarecrow with hay. And if you're gonna pick this up to coordinate, and I highly suggest that you do that, it's gonna set you back another $35. So let's move Nana I'm Stuffed out of the way just for a minute and take a look at this scarecrow shack. Uh, so you can kind of see, that okay so i've already replaced the bulb they have still and i don't know why are not using led bulbs in their buildings they're they're coming with the old uh type style light bulbs and i guess it's fine uh, but they get very hot and and i change them out for leds and that's what i've done here but the light is uh, kind of illuminating the the shack uh sign in the back the scarecrow supplies says everything you need and it talks about shirts and pants and dresses and scarves and burlap bags and hats a uh, nice little fall garland around the top a little scarecrow sitting on the side there some jeans kind of folded in front some pumpkins they've actually got some uh, hay that is sort of glued down there and it seems pretty sturdy. And then some old poles or fences, or actually, I guess, uh, you know, kind of the, the mechanism in which the scarecrow is gonna go on, your armature, I guess, is, is what that would be. And then this old tin kind of a, a building. 
A lot of people were saying they thought that was actual tin. It is not, it's all ceramic and it's just painted to look like tin. I will tell you though, this year, so far uh, with what I've seen, the paint jobs are spectacular again. You can kind of see the tin roof and how it kind of glistens there in the light of our kitchen, but man, it looks really good. I love this old style sign here, that uh, fifth annual horseshoe tournament, just very nostalgic looking. It's got a nice wreath with a little bow in the beginning. You've got the nice colored fall leaves on top. You've got the little shingled roof on this side, again, continuing with the garland. Uh, and then you've got the scarecrow on the side there. It's already made and then some pants hanging across. And then if you actually come around to this side, which I absolutely love. This is the actual stuffing station and a little bit of light protrudes through the window there, but you can kind of see the hats hanging up. You can see the sign that essentially says scarecrow making at the farm, family fun, supplies uh, provided. And you see the little box of supplies down there for gloves and things like that. And then parts of the scarecrow up on the table. And I know that's a little, difficult to see, but you can kind of see parts of the scarecrow being made in there. So just a really, 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 quite honestly, good paint job on these. They've done a, I think, a spectacular job, at least on the first one that I've looked at. Some of these I haven't even opened and looked at yet, so we will see them together. But I love, and I knew that I was going to love, this particular piece. All right, so what does it look like? That's the front and the side. Let's remove these trees. And again, we'll review these trees in an upcoming video, but they're, they're pretty nice. And in the back, it's basically the same. You've got the continuation of the little stuffing station back there. And then you've got, uh, you, you come on around to the, the back side of the silo and with a back door to get into that part of the, the little uh, store. So all in all, I'm very pleased with how this has turned out this year. It's a wonderful addition. If you collect fall, and I know most of you that watch this channel do, um, I think that this is a must-have. This is, this is going to go beautiful in any sort of a fall display. It doesn't have to be particularly Halloween. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think it would go in any sort of a situation, mostly a fall display, which we're gonna uh, hopefully work on this year. I've been promising you that for a couple of years, and so we need to get that done. Love the make and take Scarecrow Shack. Okay, so now for the accessory, let's bring the box up a little bit closer and we'll set her uh, Nana I'm Stuffed on top of the box so we can hopefully focus on that. Now, if you can see on the bottom, this is a 100% uh, ceramic piece, and I'm trying to focus there. It is ceramic. I am not a huge fan of ceramic. However, this paint job on this one is pretty well done. Uh, the little boy's face uh, is uh, very well done. You've got the pants standing up and, and shoving the, the straw, which is kind of real, down in there. And then if we look around over here at Grandma, again, just a, a very peaceful looking lady that is overjoyed to be spending time with her grandson stuffing this scarecrow as sort of a fall activity to do. So love this piece. It is very well done also. It is very well painted. I see no blemishes, no errors, no mistakes at all on these, on the paint job. It's just a very, very well done piece. Even for me with ceramic, this is one of the better ones. And it's more of a matte finish this year really than a shiny finish, which I absolutely love. So not mad about it. I, I sort of like this ceramic style here. We'll see some of the other pieces as we unbox them and see if they are any different uh, versus the ceramic versus the resin. So there you have it. That's a closer look at Make and Take Scarecrow Shack and Nana I'm Stuffed as the coordinating accessory. Okay, well, there you have a much closer look at the Make and Take Scarecrow Shack and Nana I'm Stuffed. I absolutely 
Love these pieces. I highly recommend them. The pieces that I got are pristine. They're absolutely flawless in terms of paint. So hopefully Department 56 has stepped up their painting game this year because I was frustrated with a couple of pieces last year that looked like they were painted by uh, somebody wearing a blindfold or with the wrong fitting <laughs> glasses on their face or something. But this year so far with the first piece that I've looked at, I'm overjoyed with the paint job and the quality of the paint job on both of these pieces. Uh, so again, $170 for the Make and Take Scarecrow Shack, $35 for Nana I'm Stuffed. That's $205 for this set. However, Everything in price has gone up, as you guys know. I'm not happy about it either, but I, there's not a lot we can do. We, I guess we can protest by not buying it, but there's enough folks out there that are going to buy it, and the prices are going to continue to go up, just like with everything else we've seen in our world. So I try not to fret over it because it just sort of costs what it costs, and we all spend our money on things that we enjoy. So my advice to you is if you love fall and you are creating a fall display or you just want this uh, available, I would get it. Highly recommend this piece. I think it's a wonderfully done uh, creation this year. Very happy to add this one to my collection. And I think when I do get around to doing the fall display, the bigger fall display, this is going to fit absolutely perfect inside of that genre. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this review video as much as I've enjoyed making it. If you have, make sure you smash that like button and let me know. If you have questions or comments, you want to know something specific about this piece, ask in the comments. I'll get back to you like I always do. And we're going to go on and create another video for another review. So until we talk again, uh, take care of yourselves and we'll see you again then real soon.